This is 5 Minute Power Platform, where I'm doing short experiments in Dynamics, Flow, Power Apps, and more. And today we're going to use the on-premises data gateway. We're going to take some data from SharePoint and then put it into a table in SQL Server, running on Windows Server. And so to do that, we're going to use Flow and then connect through the on-premises data gateway, and we'll spend most of our time focusing on setting up the on-premises data gateway. Just a little more detail on this. So we're going to take just kind of a generic SharePoint site. And when we drop a document in it, we're going to take the document file name and the create date and then insert those into a table in SQL Server. So we're going to start here on the Windows Server that's running SQL Server, and we're going to download the on-premises data gateway. So once it's downloaded, I'm going to start running it, and we can configure it. So we'll install it by running the file we downloaded, go through the wizard, click Next, and accept the terms. Now one thing as we're installing this, we need to keep track our flow accounts and our local server accounts. Because it's going to ask for both, and so we just need to kind of keep track of those as we're going through. This first one it's going to ask for is the same account we're going to log into flow with. So that's going to be an online account. So we'll enter that here, and then next we'll enter in the password. Now once we're signed in then, we can give this gateway a name, and this is how it's going to appear in the gateway list on flow and power apps. And so it's just a name to help you keep track. And then we're going to enter a recovery key, and a rec recovery key is used in case you need to change the account this runs under, if you need to take ownership of another one, or uh, configure it to use a different machine. So now it looks like everything is good. It's good to run diagnostics for the network, so we're going to start a diagnostics test, let it get the servers list, connect, and hopefully everything will look good. Once that's done, we're ready to move into flow and start, um, start running our flow, start creating our flow. So first in Flow, we're going to go to the data area and check the list of gateways to make sure our gateway is properly registered. There it is, on-prem gateway demo. Status is live. It looks good. So now we can go over to SharePoint and we'll start creating our Flow. So we're not going to use a template. So here in SharePoint, we'll go to the Flows menu, see your flows, so we can create one from scratch. And we'll use this action here when an item is created in SharePoint. To do that, we need to get the URL from the SharePoint site. We'll put that in as a custom value. And we'll type in docs, the name of the document library, as a custom value, too. So now we're ready to use the uh, SQL Server Insert Row action and configure our SQL Server connection from the gateway. So there we're choosing Insert Row. We're connecting via an on-premises data gateway. We'll give this connection a name. This is how it will show up in the connectors list of Flow, as opposed to the gateway area where we were looking before. And now we need our server name and our database name. So here in SQL Server Management Studio, we can see our server name, on-prem, and our database name, flow test. And we'll need it later. You can see that the table name is SharePoint Files. So now we can figure that name here in our connection. So our SQL Server name is on-prem, and let's see, our database name is flow test. So we'll put that in here under the database name. And then we'll log in. And so this is the SQL Server login that we're putting in here. And so we'll put in our uh, username and password. The gateway is selected. We only have the one created. And this will take a few seconds. And then once it does, it's going to connect to SQL Server. And we'll begin to then configure our action. So now it's ready for us to configure. So we'll choose a table name. SharePoint Files is the name of our table. And we can see the columns appear there, doc name and upload date. So we'll map those over from SharePoint. File name with extension for the doc name and the created date for the upload date. So now this should be ready to test. So let's move it into test mode here. We'll perform the trigger action by dragging a picture of a kitten into the SharePoint list. So let's grab those files over here and we can drag one in now. So once that's uploaded, we can flip over to our flow, and we can see that it looks like it's running, and it ran successfully. So everything looks good there, and insert row looks like the appropriate data. So now we'll go over to SQL Server, uh, do a select, and we see the name of a file and the created date that we just uploaded. So let's drag a few in just to kind of uh, give it a test and see how it performs. We'll drag three more photos in. Looks like they uploaded. And then we'll come over here to SQL Server. Looks like we've got two of the three. We'll keep refreshing here. And then there's the third, so we've got all four file names in there. So this really quick demo, we focused on configuring the on-premise data, data gateway, and we took data from SharePoint and inserted it into an on-premise SQL server. I hope it was useful for you.